Well, as I mentioned last time, there was a bit of a snowstorm coming in um, on Tuesday evening, which it turned out to be about an inch of snow on the ground on Wednesday morning. So um, Zach and Jeff and Devon weren't able to make it out of their places um, because of the snow uh, on the ground. But, you know, I've got uh, my Audi with Quattro and uh, my all-season tyres, so I didn't have any problems. So I was in the shop and I was working on putting these bushings in the door frames. So um, the hinge points there needed to be, uh, the holes needed to be enlarged because we originally had half inch holes but we decided to step everything up and uh, go with larger holes. So we've got uh, three quarter inch holes in there with bushings that match now and those are stainless steel bushings that we had uh, machined just recently. And um, well, there's sort of sleeves and there's pins that go through those and then matching um, sort of sleeves that live in the fuselage that you'll see a little bit later but there you can see the enlarged holes there um, didn't have too many problems um, drilling those out and getting them nicely aligned and as you can see I've got my full length drill rod there uh, just to make sure that the um, the pins are aligned because obviously the alignment is pretty crucial in making sure the door can open smoothly so that's that job done and on Tuesday evening I also finished um, these uh, uh, plugs for the ribs for the rudders and winglets and so um, Zach and everybody else was back in the shop on Thursday so here's Zach uh, working on uh, sanding on those and getting uh, the rest of them all ready for primer and so the next step for me with the doors was to enlarge these holes as well and I wasn't feeling super confident about doing this I ended up just using a step drill to do it and uh, when I got the doors on there to see, or actually even just put the pins through um, to see how they were lining up, and it wasn't looking good. And you can see this one actually got a bit of a downhill slope. So I figured the best thing to do at that point um, was to just kind of start again um, by putting the doors in place with the pins through there and then uh, re-drilling the holes out. So you'll see in a little bit what we're going to do with that. Um, anyway, so um, here's those... Uh, skins there that got um, laid up and they're out of the bag now these are the ones that got laid up on Tuesday the upper straight skins and um, both of those came out nicely and now they just need uh, the inside layers to be put on there and uh, here's the other one so uh, once we have these two skins laid up we've got everything that we need to put together uh, the wing strakes and so the the goal is going to be that we actually put all the wing strakes together and when that's all done, then we're going to um, be able to post-cure the whole fuselage. So there's still a bunch of other things to do, but the, the goal is to post-cure the strakes at the same time as everything else. So the whole fuselage in the oven. And one of our supporters by the name of Davin was nice enough to send me a gimbal for my phone for doing the video uh, in order to get sort of a more smooth video capture. And I've been using it on this video, so hopefully you'll notice. Um, anyway, that's really nice of him to do that. So again, thanks again, Davin for sending that on, much appreciated. And here's Jeff back in after his snow day working on uh, laying in the, the remaining uh, carbon layers to uh, both of those upper strake skins. So as you can see, he's got this one already done and under the bag, two different uh, vacuum connections on that. And then in the background over there is uh, the other one already done. So uh, those are all laid up now and they just need uh, some time to cure and then, uh, and then be released. So. Um, the next step now is to start sort of um, just sort of dry fitting all the pieces of the strake together which you know is basically the wing tanks really is what it is and the baffles that go uh, within them so uh, you'll see that there shortly okay without going into too much detail on how this thing is working with the doors basically I've got the doors on I've got the half inch pins going through and then I've backfilled it with resin in order to create a hole of the smaller diameter in the fuselage there that we can use as a pilot hole for drilling out the larger one um, and these holes are perfectly aligned obviously because the doors are on they're not sort of misaligned like the the previous ones were and you see somebody while I was away put an eyeball on the fuselage which was kind of weird but anyway um, you'll see more on this door thing uh, in a little while and uh, here's Jeff starting the process now of uh, mocking the strake up or at least sort of dry fitting everything so he's got the lower skin there uh, sort of clamped or and or clecoed into place onto the fuselage and uh, onto the edge of the um, the spar there the main spar and then he's got the rear wall of the tank in there and obviously you can see the 
part of the um, wheel well there which is you know part of that strake so things are moving along with that and so back on the doors I took the doors off now and I've actually created some mock-up pins out of some aluminum tube and I have drill bits running through the middle in order to hold them up so you can see it's split in the middle there and, and this allows me to put resin on the inside here and create a really nice tight fit around that smaller diameter and then once that resin is dialed just basically rotate those aluminum rods there and they'll crack free of the resin and they'll be able to slide them out um, you know, one to the left, one to the right and then I'll have a really nice clean pilot hole that we can use to uh, enlarge the hole which you'll see uh, next week. And Zach and Devin finished the first round of sanding on all these uh, rib blanks and so Jeff got them primed. Uh, this is uh, Friday afternoon and uh, now they've been sprayed with some guide coat as well so they're ready uh, for their first coat of sanding and actually forgot to even get some video but they also got lacquered prior uh, to getting primed so the wood there the MDF didn't just absorb all the primer and that was a step that we used on the last ones that we did for the wings but yeah I just didn't get it on the video and here's Zach enjoying a nice quiet Friday afternoon just sitting comfortably there and slowly working on uh, sanding through those different uh, ribs there so won't be long and uh, those will all be done and ready to have their next round of uh, primer and this is also Friday afternoon so um, both of these um, upper skins got all the uh, peel ply and such and bag and stuff removed but they still need a little bit more time uh, to cure up um, before they're ready to release um, especially the one that was done last on um, Thursday evening it just hadn't had enough time to harden yet so Anyway, here's Jeff working again on uh, the strake, at least on the right-hand side one, just uh, starting to sort of mark out things and figure out where everything needs to sit. And uh, it came out pretty nicely, and you'll see here in a minute as things start to sort of fall into place, there's not too many different baffles that go in that tank. And uh, here is basically all the parts of that just sort of mocked into place. Some have been clecoed and others have just been clamped right now because um, we want to do some final measurements Jeff Jeff wants to just make sure that you know the whole wing is at exactly the right angle and all that sort of stuff and is sitting nicely but uh, you know from my perspective I think it looks really good um, pretty happy with it how everything sort of fit together there so you're looking at about 55 gallons of fuel storage there and then that space on the end there on the left side of the picture that's just sort of open space where you'd be able to reach in there and, and make adjustments to those flight controls and also get to the bolts or the rear bolt that holds uh, the wing on and uh, also the side bolts there that hold the wing um, to the side face but anyway as I was saying before um, we're going to enlarge our oven into a t-shape and so then we can basically post cure the whole fuselage with strakes and all in there and that'll be something that we'll be doing over the coming weeks and uh, there's still more to do inside the fuselage before we can post cure it but we are moving along and things are heading in the right direction which is really nice so the next step with the doors is to get these door uh, hook locks sorted out so I can mount them into uh, the doors and use them, use the hooks as a reference point for where the hard points uh, in the actual fuselage frames need to be uh, because we're going to have a pin that's going to go in the fuselage where the hook attaches to and uh, the only way to do it really nicely with alignment is to have the doors already on in place with the hooks there. So anyway I had to fire up the CNC and you've seen, um, I'm pretty sure I've showed you these boxes before in the CAD. Um, you know I did the rough design and Mark did all the engineering design on them so um, you know there's all the interior bits that you'll see in the future but anyway um, fired up the CNC and uh, you know drilled the holes and cut out the slots in these boxes and uh, so there's the finished product on that and there's the hook one of the hooks that we had machined quite a while back now but I'm, just, I'm glad that they're you know sitting ready I don't have to wait for them now it's one of the advantages of getting stuff ordered way ahead of time so there's some uh, 4130 um, sort of bearings or bushings that go in there and then a pin that goes through there and then that whole mechanism can actuate and there's also um, an over center link that goes in there that will be how the, the whole thing gets actuated so uh, as I was saying, I'll get those uh, bolted, or get the rest of them done, get them bolted into the doors and then I'll uh, be able to put the hard points for those receivers there in the fuselage and that will be one step closer to having everything done for the fuselage so we can post cure it as I was saying before. So that's our update for this week and um, thanks again for watching and uh, if you don't mind uh, give us a thumbs up on the video and share it with your friends and we will see you next week.